Humans and machines have been merging for thousands of years. Right now I'm wearing shoes, I have a microphone on my jacket. Um, we all probably used our phones at least once today. And we communicate with the augmentation of all sorts of amplification and even translation technologies. You can speak into a machine and it'll translate the words you're saying in nearly real time. So I think what might be different in the years to come is a matter of degree, not a matter of kind. One concept that I think is emerging is what I like to call the brain coprocessor, a device that intimately interacts with the brain. It can upload information to the brain and download information from it. Imagine that you could have a, a technology that could replace lost memories or augment decision making or boost attention or cognition. To do that though, we have to understand the, how the brain works at a very deep level. Although over a third of a million patients have had brain implants or neural implants that stimulate the nervous system, so far they've operated in an, in an open loop fashion. That is, they drive activity in the brain, but not in a fully responsive fashion. What we want to do is to have bidirectional communication to the brain. Can you read and write information continuously and supply, maybe through coupling these interfaces to silicon computers, exactly the information the brain needs? My hope is that over, over the next five to 10 years, we're gonna get deep insights, thanks to our technologies, into how brain circuits compute. And that will drive the design of these interfaces so that we can deliver information to the brain and record information from the brain using the natural language of the brain. Reading and writing information uh, in a way that augments, for example, the number of things you can hold in your mind at once, or the ability to recall things nearly perfectly, which is you know, not an ability so different from looking something up on a search engine on your phone, right? So I think what's gonna happen is a continuation of this trend. And I think a lot of people like to talk about artificial intelligence right now. Artificial intelligence, as it stands, is based on a lot of concepts that go back many decades that build from some very simple observations about the brain. What might AI do, though, once we have incredibly deep insights into the nature of creativity and ethics and other things that the human brain seems to be uniquely equipped for? I think once we start to couple artificial intelligence to the brain that can really augment these uniquely human capabilities, it leads to a new um, era of what you might call hybrid intelligence. So it won't just be AI running away in some positive feedback loop. It won't be humans um, upgrading themselves in the absence of coupling to the world, but I think it'll yield a new kind of symbiosis. And I think that's probably uh, the best possible path. Um, and it's also already, if you look at how people operate in the world, what seems to be one of the most prevalent models. Mm -hmm.